How's it going, everybody? And welcome to the first episode of a new Let's Play series. This is the SNES kind of cult classic, Illusion of Gaia. Considered by many to be the second game in what they call the Soul Blazer trilogy, a series of three games that started with Soul Blazer, went on to Illusion of Gaia, and then finally to a game called Terranigma. Terranigma never released in the States, much to my sadness. But we are going, we might come back to Soul Blazer at another time, but for me personally, Illusion of Gaia is my favorite of the games. The world was in an age of exploration. Looking for new lands, man uncovered the relics of ancient cultures. As time passed, many legends began to surface. A legend from each ruin. A legend from each culture. Various relics were found in the ruins. One of the legends told of strange statues in the shape of spirits. What was a spirit to ancient people? The ruins don't tell us. People who entered the ruins searching for wealth went in and were never seen again. Some said there were traps to protect the treasure. Others said it was a curse. No one thought these ruins would bring about disaster. So let's start our journey. My name is Will. A year has passed since I went to the Tower of Babel with my father. My father and his party met with disaster. Somehow I made it back to South Cape. I still can't believe my father is gone. I'll never believe it. When I grow up, I'll be an explorer and see the world. Somewhere, I will meet my father. That's all for today's lesson. You four do your best not to fall behind. Demons have appeared outside of town. If you go very far, you must go with your parents. I'll see you guys at the usual place. I have to go home first. I'll see you guys there later. If you don't hurry home, your mother will think that you were kept after school. <laughs> Like always, the cave at the seashore. Oh, Will, please recite with me. The world shines on brightly through eternity. Hey, Will, how many times have I told you not to come up here? You have a habit of jumping down from places. Well, I guess I really can't stop you. No sooner was the door to Seth's house opened, than a jar came flying out. 
What's wrong with having a little fun with my hard-earned money? It's no joke. That man. I put up with it for Seth's sake. But if it weren't for him, I'd have left long ago. I feel sorry for Seth. I understand why he hates to see his parents fighting every day. My astronomer friend said something very strange. A star is approaching the Earth. This is Lance's house. He lives here with his frail mother. Your father has been lost at the Tower of Babel for a year now. It seems like only yesterday. You found a red jewel. I envy you when I see the sea breeze flowing through your hair like that. Not like mine under this scarf. My friend Eric lives here. This is the biggest house in South Cape. Will envied people born to rich families. It's the little things in life that make you rich or poor. Well, heard any good stories? Everyone is jealous of this big house. It's nothing. We moved to this town before anyone else. Don't worry, I'm not on fire. It's just a treatment for my sore body. Cleaning this big house all day makes my brain ache. One, two, three, four, five. This game, it's strange. This game is like red light, green light. How long have we been playing this? I travel around to people's houses selling weapons used to fight demons. We may live in troubled times, but I won't sell a weapon to a child. I'm worried. There's been a lot of strange merchants lately doing business. Mmm, nice smell. There's no stove, so I'm cooking in this pot. This is my house. The pie that Grandma Lola is making smells really great. Welcome home, Will. Dinner isn't ready yet. Go outside and play for a while. Coming home at this hour probably means you had to stay after school again. Haha, <laughs> excellent! Even if a boy can't study, he should show a little initiative. Hold it! Many demons are prowling around outside of the town. Didn't your teacher warn you not to leave town without your parents? You look like a fast runner. To run, press the control pad twice. I am the jeweler, Gem. I control the seven seas. What's your business? I'll give you a red jewel. Hmm, this is a rare jewel. Let me hold it for you. There are now one jewels in the room. I will give you goods for your jewels, as written on the list. Is that right? How do you do? Once you hold up the red jewels, you'll have to come running to my place. I am a famous master of disguises. If you saw me in another town, you wouldn't know me. And we will indeed find Gem throughout the game. Even if I move to another place, I can't pull it up. It 
It was natural for the four friends to call this seaside cave their second home. Usually, when the lessons were done at school, they gathered there to talk and play games until sundown. <laughs> I'm going to win again for sure. What is it, Will? It's late. I'm playing cards with Seth. Wait a minute. Suddenly, Eric rushed in with a desperate look on his face. Ah, news! Big news! The Princess of Edward Castle has run away. They say she came to South Cape. That's all? You came in such a hurry that I thought something really big had happened. The princess is probably that spoiled girl, Kara, the one you like so much. Liar! Maybe the soldiers will come you're looking for. The soldiers from Edward Castle look so cool. I want a steel helmet, too. Well, get over here and sit next to Eric. I'm not interested in girls. I like adventures better. And I thought everyone would be surprised. Everyone's here. What should we do today? I want to see Will's mysterious power. You haven't seen it? He can move things without touching them. He moved the statue that's in the corner of the cave. Will, show me again. Oh, it moved! If only I could do that. Next, pick a card. Any card. I'll put down four cards pay face down. Pick the one you think is the Ace of Diamonds. No matter how many times I see it, I'm still amazed. But why can you move the statue when you can't move anything else? Will picks up a card. It's the Ace of Diamonds, of course. Ah, right! I'm speechless. Hey, Seth, this is some type of psychic power, right? Yeah, it must be some kind of psychic power thing. If I didn't know better, I'd think it was magic. Most people have five senses. Sight, hearing, taste, smell, and touch. I think Will's psychic power is some kind of sixth sense. What Seth says is too complicated for me to understand. Seth, let's play one more game. One more game with Seth and I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going to win again for sure. It was already dark by the time Will left the cave. Gosh, I can't pull it up. Come on. Maybe I'm too early. Let's see if he's actually moving. There's three different spots. Yeah, he is moving. There's three different spots that the fishermen can appear in. The one down there, the one over here, and then rarely he appears down here. And if he does, he has a red jewel. Now, you saw from the jeweler that he has 50 items to give you for up to 50 red jewels. There are exactly as many as you need in the game. And they're all hidden. So there's no missing it. If you miss one, you're done. Wrong place. Oh, we came back out. So let's check. Nope, we're still in there. Unfortunately, the odds of him spawning where we want him are fairly low. Which is, admittedly, annoying. Might be too early. The pig! 
pigs wrecking the room. But why is there a pig in my house? Oink, oink. Hamlet, you shouldn't snort at strangers. Is this your house? Yeah, so? Frankly, you look a little shabby. Well, excuse me! Your father? Mother? Not here, huh? Is this a picture of your parents? My father's an explorer, he... I know. Omen, the explorer. They say he was lost. He'll come back someday. Are you sad? No? I'd be sad if it were me. I'm sorry. Anywhere is the way. Is there a piano here? No, there isn't. But Grandma Lola is a great singer. They're singing upstairs now. They have such loud voices. Who the hell? Welcome home, Will. When I sing opera, I lose track of the time. Dinner's not ready yet. Oh my, I haven't sung like this in a long time. Your grandmother Lola used to be a singer. I fell in love with her voice, that's why I married her. <laughs> oh, you, bringing up a thing like that. Will, you shouldn't be surprised to hear that. The girl who was singing with me a minute ago... No! A scream from downstairs. It's that girl screaming. Princess, I've been looking for you. I don't know you. Be gone! What are you saying? If I don't take you home, I'll lose my head. What do I care if you lose your head? Princess! Do you think I have nothing better to do than chase you down? I must take you home. It's the king's orders. I'm sorry I lied to you. I'm King Edward's daughter, Kara. Will, I feel as though we've met before. As if we were good friends. So that girl likes to play practical jokes. <laughs> Edward Castle. There's a big viaduct under the castle. Your grandfather designed it. What? Really? There's a prison under the castle. It's built like a maze to keep the prisoners from escaping. I feel bad that I built a prison where people disappear and are never heard from again. Enough serious talk. Let's eat dinner. I've made a delicious pie. Let's sit at the table upstairs. Will, do you think Lola's meals have been a little strange lately? Last night, licorice and rice. Before that, mouse fritters. I can't stand it anymore. <clears throat> Sometimes old people, if they're surrounded by problems, get a little forgetful. Maybe there's something bothering her that she can't talk about. Enough serious talk. Let's see dinner. Now, before I do that... Nope. And the worst is I've had times where I've been going in and out of the cave trying to get him to appear. And then when he did appear, I was so in the habit of going up and down that I went straight back in. Come on. Well, before we go eat dinner, I think we'll go save.
place? I am Gaia, the source of all life. I will help you on your journey. Only one with the dark power can see this space. You are the chosen one. In the dark space you can record a travel journal. Stop there before you depart. Record what's happened so far. Continue, then go. We sat down to a feast of snail pie with whipped cream. I only got one beast. When Grandpa Bill ate half the pie. That night, Will dreamed a trip that Kara and he took a trip around the world. And the next morning, something began to happen. I had more snail pie for breakfast. I left you a slice. Good morning, Will. A letter has come for you from King Edward. This is what is written in the letter. Bring the crystal ring from Omen's Things to Edward Castle. King Edward. I've been in a bad mood ever since I saw this letter. Oh, Will, I'll teach you a spell. When I'm upset, humming this tune makes me feel better. Lola hummed a strange melody. That's pretty. Even though Will had never heard it before, it seemed oddly familiar. You've learned Lola's melody. Be careful. Well, we're not going just yet. Ah, I had my hopes up for a second. Come on, you stupid fisherman. It's a day off from school. Let's have some fun. Got a better idea. How about the freaking fisherman show up where he's supposed to be? But apparently he's too good to do that. Eh, yeah, well. King Edward has summoned you to the castle. Well, just be careful. Off to Edward's castle. This is King Edward's castle. I must report this intrusion. Will shows the letter to the guard. A guest of the king? I'm sorry, you may pass. King Edward is having breakfast. Wait a while, then enter. Don't raise your voice and brand your manners. In exchange, I'll give you a red jewel. This is the underground prison. Innocent people can't enter. So your will, you were summoned by King Edward. Be careful when you meet with him. Let's go this way first. Recently a hunter was hired. I 
wonder what the king is thinking. Shy. I'm glad that somewhere in the world there is someone who is thinking of me. This is the princess's room. Strangers can't enter. Who is it? A guest? It's just some shabby boy. It's me, Kara. Oh, that voice. Let him in, or I'll tell everyone your old nickname. Pardon me. Please enter. I was told to bring the crystal ring to King Edward. Terrible. It's terrible. Again, my father is trying to take something important from someone. I've escaped from the castle before. Now they won't let me go out. Recently, something very strange has happened in the castle. My mother has hired a famous hunter. It's ominous. Princess, let's go. I feel scared. My father and mother seem to have changed. Please save me. Take me out of here, please. Princess, please come back, Will. Your business is finished. Get out. Wow. The interview room is before you. Climb the stairs to meet the king. So you are Will. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Let's go see King Edward. If you want to see the king, keep your wits about you. The king sent you the letter. Talk to him. Your Will? You look so shabby. Well, did you bring the crystal ring? No. How dare you say such a thing to me! Guards, throw this impudent weasel in prison. Then go to Will's house and find the ring. Yes, sir. Ma'am, save me! Did you say ma'am? I wonder why I have to suffer so. I wonder what will become of me now. Anyway, I have to think of a way to get out of here. Someone was chained to this ball. This moss has seen thousands of prisoners come and go. Those prisoners must have been encouraged by any sign of life. It's locked. locked. Shoot. Didn't mean to do that. They basically say that getting a loaf of bread is more than you deserve. We'll taste some of the bread. The bread is hard. It's the worst thing he's ever tasted. For some reason, he really misses Grandma Lola's creative cuisine. Time passes slowly, but the long day is ending. It pains me to think of the prisoners' feelings, not knowing what they should do. While I was trying to think of a way out, I drifted off to sleep. A familiar voice speaks from the flute. Will, this is your father. Father? You were a cute child, but now you've grown up. Isn't Grandma Lola's pie delicious? 
Uh, sure, Dad. Where are you? I can't tell you now. I have something to ask of you. Listen. Yes, if it's your wish. I want you to save me. I, too, was once held in this cell. Look at the left-hand wall. This? Have you heard anything from Grandpa Bill? Grandpa? He was an architect. Your grandpa knows the secret of that stone. Secret? Starting now, you will encounter a terrible thing. Do I have to? Pick up the stone your enemy left. The power of the crystal is contained there. That power will prove to be your ally. You must make a pilgrimage to the ruins of the world to find the mystic statues. The closer you get to the crystal, the stronger the evil power will be. Will. No time. Quickly. First to the Incan ruins. The flute's voice fades and disappears. Oink, oink. I wonder if this is Kara's pig. What luck! There's a letter and a key tied to its tail. The letter read, Sorry to hear that you're in prison. It's terrible what my father's done, but hear what I have to say. I too am a prisoner, in a prison of silk and gold. But tonight I will leave the castle forever. You also will be free. Kara. You have the key! As he turns the prison key, the steel door opens with a dull sound. I'll give you some advice. When you defeat all the enemies in an area, you will get a jewel that increases your abilities. Push the start button to see the locations of your enemies. Find the demons and defeat them. Well, let's make our escape. Your HP power has increased. When you defeat all the enemies around you, a jewel will appear. Take that, you stupid bat. I'm gonna beat you up with a flute. killing bats with a flute. strange tentacles and skeletons and killing them with a flute. Take that! Your strength has increased. Continue our escape here. 
He really did design a labyrinth with this place, didn't he? Other side. Time to pull back some statues. Hey, what are you doing? It's not my fault you keep getting in my way, you stupid little puff. The f are you anyway? Come here, or the demon will get you. You know, if you want me to go somewhere, it helps for you to actually, you know, show me where. Don't want to go there yet. There we go. Your defense is increased chest down here, I think. You found an herb! We need that at this rate. Go in. Maybe it's rusty. That got it. When you defeat the enemies, a shiny silver dark gem will appear. If you collect 100 of those, you gain one life. Even if you're defeated, you won't have to go back very far. You found a red jewel. You need that. Your HP has increased. Flower in the corner. Try playing the flute. Play the melody. Get those out of my inventory. He softly played the melody he had learned from Lola. He heard a soft voice from somewhere. Go to the switch on the right-hand wall. The door won't open unless you push this switch on the count of three. When I shout, push the switch. I'll count one, two, three, so don't make a mistake. Stop! The door is open! Go in! Now, I will shortly, but for now, I think this is a good leaving off place. We're going to wrap this first episode up here, and I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Next episode, we will continue our escape from the prison. 
As always, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and favorite. Throw any feedback you may have in the comments below. And we'll see you again next time for another new episode of Let's Play Illusion of Gaia. Farewell.